is it? It's not that I'm complaining, but how will I integrate tomatoes in my values education class? Have you tried discussing good manners with your students? Yes, we've done that already. Good nutrition and right conduct. Wow, that is clever, but uh, I think that is GMRC. Nice try, Coach Jim. All right. <laughs> I understand how it, how it feels, uh, Mr. Arkin Hill, because um, I don't know how I'm going to integrate tomatoes into math. Yours is easier, Mr. Rizaldo. Try discussing the measurements of tomatoes in uh, grams and kilograms. You can even give them problem-solving activities with that. Wow, I never thought of that. Thank you, thank you, that, that is a great idea. Don't mention it. I just wish I could think of an integration activity for my classes easily. Hey, Mr. Oakenhill, how about using fresh tomatoes as example of good people and then bad or, or rotten tomatoes as, as example of bad people. Now, if you put them all together in just one basket, the fresh tomatoes will, will rot really fast. What do you think? Oh, that's a great idea. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. OK, I'll go and see if Principal Ambrose is in the office. All right? I'll catch you later, yeah, guys. You do that. I'm, I'll have to talk to him. Get back to my table. Coach Chip, come, hey, come, come here for a second. Hey, good morning. I'm just on my way to the gym. Hey, good, good. Uh, yeah. So, how's your assignment? Uh, working on it, doing good. Ah, good, good. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll review the, uh, the concept later this afternoon. I oh. want to meet the teachers about it later as well. Okay. okay. Well, do you want me to tell them about it or should you do it? Uh, tell me first and then I'll call everyone. Okay. All I'll right. You know then. Okay. Okay, on. okay good, right. good. Thanks, so I've got coach. Students waiting. <laughs> good. Take your seats. class as you can see today we have these fruits and vegetables and this will be the topic of our discussion for today now first I need a volunteer Angelo come to the table I want you to sort out the fruits and the vegetables you put all the fruits on this tray and put all the vegetables on this tray all right yes ma'am go Angelo Your seat, Angelo. You did a very interesting job in sorting out the fruits and vegetables. Uh, 
okay, these are all fruits and these are all vegetables, but why did you put the tomatoes in the middle? How would you classify the tomato? Is it a fruit or a vegetable? Mom, I am not sure. Now, before we can accurately classify if something is a fruit or a vegetable, we have first to define what is a fruit and what is a vegetable. So who can give me the definition of the term fruit? All right, Chris. A fruit is a part of the plant that contains the seeds. Very good. So the fruit is a very important part of the plant and it is involved in the plant's reproduction because it contains its seeds. All right? So we can define the fruit as an edible part of the plant which contains the seeds. And what does edible mean? Edible means you can eat something. Like you can eat the banana, you can eat the kamote, but you cannot eat the table. Now that we know the definition of a fruit, who can give me the definition of a vegetable? Does anyone know? No one? All right, let's take a look at this carrot, for example. Does a carrot have seeds in them? No, no. That's right, carrots don't have seeds in them. And what part of a plant is a carrot? Nico? Ma'am, carrots are the roots of the plant. Very good. Carrots are the roots of a plant. And uh, what about the cabbage, the pet chai, and the malunggay? What part of the plant are they? Nico? Ma'am, they are the leaves. Very good. They are the leaves. So now, class, do you see the trend? Do you see that uh, you can eat the parts of a plant that are called vegetables? So vegetables are the edible parts of a plant that do not contain its seeds. Just like the flowers of a plant, broccoli or a cauliflower, we can eat them. Or just like the stems of a plant, the asparagus and the celery, we can also eat them. And the kangkong, which we eat all the time, we eat the stem and the leaves. So now do you understand what a vegetable means? Yes, ma'am. All right. Now, Angelo, I'd like to ask you again, after we discussed what a fruit and a vegetable is, how would you classify a tomato? Is a tomato a fruit or a vegetable? Ma'am, because a tomato has seed in them, I can conclude that it is a fruit. Very good! Woo! Mom, is it because July is Nutrition Month? That's right, okay? July is Nutrition Month. And in Nutrition Month, we celebrate this to remind us how important it is to be healthy. And I had you sing that song because it is an old and popular folk song that reminds us of the uh, natural resources that we have in order to help us keep that healthy lifestyle. All you need to do is actually review that song and you'll know that there are vegetables we have, we have vegetables in this country um, that we can use to prepare meals that are healthy and nutritious. Okay? Yes, Sarah? Ma'am, you said that a bahay kubo has vegetables, but eating a tomato is a kind of fruit and not a vegetable? That's a very good question, okay? But let me answer your question with another question. How do we classify a particular food as a fruit or a vegetable? Does anyone know? Okay. In order to answer that question, I'd like us to do a small exercise, okay? So just close your eyes, everyone. I want everyone to close their eyes, okay? Now imagine your favorite fruit is right in front of you, okay? You have your favorite fruit in front of you, and you're going to eat it. Okay, so everyone, what do you do? You're eating your favorite fruit. Okay, all right, good, right? Now open your eyes. Huh? Did anyone imagine eating a tomato? No. Yes. Mom. 
I don't think I would want to eat a tomato by itself. Why do you say that? Because I like it better in sinigang. Mmm. <laughs> yes, that's valid. That's a valid, yeah. Okay, settle down. That's valid, okay? I mean, most of us really prefer to eat, you know, tomatoes in food, right? Because what we normally do is eat fruits, or rather, uh, raw food that we consider as fruits. That's, that's normally what we think of as fruits, the raw food that, you know, that we can eat. But vegetables, normally we prefer to put that in, in ulam, like sinigang, like what he mentioned. And from a cook's perspective, or from a cook's point of view, when the ingredients that you put in uh, ulam, as mentioned, is usually considered a vegetable, all right? Um, I have another question to ask all of you uh, in order to clarify this whole thing. How many of you go to the market with your parents? Okay, practically everyone, right? Okay. Uh, when you go to the market, where do you see a tomato? Is it in the fruit section or is it in the vegetable section? Vegetables! Okay. So what does that tell us about tomatoes, Sarah? That we eat tomatoes as vegetables. Good job, guys. Good morning, class. Good morning. Okay, sit down, sit down. All right, today I'm very excited to announce to you that this week we will be having a poster making contest. Yeah, well, that's because July is Nutrition Month. So what I want you to do is to draw and play up your imagination based on the theme, tomato, a fruit, or vegetable. Okay? Now the deadline for submission of this project is going to be the end of the week. All right, is that clear? Now, I want you to count from one to eight. Let's start with you, Patricia. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, very good. The tomato is a fruit. Mrs. Navarro told us so. Angelo! 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 No, it's not. It's a vegetable. You can buy your tomatoes in a fruit market. Sara! 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 What is going on here, class? Ma'am, we are arguing if a tomato is a fruit or a vegetable. Mrs. Navarro told us that it was a fruit. It has seeds, so it is a fruit. But it's not eaten like a fruit. It's a vegetable. Miss Virgie said so. Okay, wait. I think that there is a better way to settle this. You know, class, you have to remember that you also have to be very, uh, shall we say, guarded when it comes to listening to other people as well, okay? So why don't we research on this some more? Try to find out more information on this topic. Is that okay, Sarah? Yes, ma'am. Angelo? Yes, ma'am. Okay then, let's go to the library. All right, let's go, class. Please form a line. I saw what you did with that notebook, Charles. Why did you do it? Did what, teacher? You threw that notebook at the group beside you. Why? But I didn't do anything, Yes, teacher. you did. I saw it. Why would I lie to you? Charles, you know that that notebook could hit and hurt someone, right? Sorry, ma'am. Okay, I forgive you. But next time I catch you doing it, I'm taking you to Principal Ambrose. Is that clear? Yes, ma'am. Okay, you may go back inside now. 
Okay, everyone, please take your seats. Hmm. Okay. So, were you enlightened by our trip to the library? Yes, Mom. Okay, so what did you learn? Yes, Sarah? Ma'am, I read in the biology book that other vegetables can also be considered as fruits because they have seeds, tomatoes, nuts, beans, pumpkins, and even ampalaya. Well, that's very interesting, Sarah. And what about you, Angelo? What did you learn? Ma'am, I read on a cooking website that some fruits like tomatoes are actually considered vegetable because of their taste. So now do you understand where the other one is coming from? Yes, Mom. And that is why it's really important for us to be critical of our own opinions as well. That way, we are more open to other people's perceptions and we're more accepting. All right? Yes, Mom. Okay, so now, finally, what is our answer to our question for today? Is the tomato a fruit or is it a vegetable? Yes, Chris. Mom, I think the tomato can be whatever we want it to be. What? <laughs> Very well said, Chris. <laughs> Guys, I brought fresh fruits and vegetables to my class today, and you should have seen my class. They were so excited. Really? Well, good for you, Mrs. Navarro. It looks like your class is starting to really enjoy your lessons. Yeah. What about you, Miss Anne? How was your day? Well, it was fun, except for this one kid who really got on my nerve. I mean, I had to talk to him privately. If I didn't, he was determined to lie about the incident. Wow. Imagine a student of ours growing up with that kind of attitude, mm. this honest attitude, just because we didn't do anything about it. Why? What happened? Well, I had to correct him. He was throwing things at his classmates. And then he said it wasn't him. So I confronted him, and I told him that the next time I catch him doing that, mm. I'm taking him to Principal Ambrose. And then he said, sorry. Well, Miss Anne, I really admire your patience with that student, but you know what? If that were my student, what would you do? Oh, nothing. Excuse me, guys. Principal wants to see us in his office. Now? Yeah, okay. right now. Front door. Hey. Let's go. Yeah. Teachers, come in, come in. Mr. Rosaldo? <laughs> Ma'am? Right. Hi, sir. Uh, hello, hello. Good afternoon. Is everybody here? Good, good. So how's everyone? Good. 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 Yeah. Nice, nice. Uh, I just want to update every one of you about uh, the concept that Coach Jim uh, presented just a while ago. It was a very brilliant concept called Winnie Roasting. See this? Uh, yes, yes, roasting. <laughs> okay. It's a very unique concept, Coach, and uh, I, li I like it because it's a whole day event which uh, consists of a picnic and a potluck, uh, some production numbers, parlor games, and the students are required to bring only healthy and nutritious food. Wow. Yes, strictly no junk food, no soda, no chips, no candy. No sweets, none of those things. Just healthy, nutritious That's food. Okay. We're going to start the day with some production numbers and some parlor games, and then uh, we're going to have lunch with them after the food presentation. By lunchtime, we are going to eat the food presentation. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep, we're going to eat the food that the students are going to bring. Okay. <laughs> and then uh, I just want to reward the students who who really gave out all out, who really gave all an all out effort in what they're going to do. Uh, a small award, awarding ceremony where we are going to give small tokens for those with uh, best in vegetable costume or uh, <laughs> most sportsman award, best in presentation, all those things. So uh, what do you think of the concept? 
sounds like fun. Good. <laughs> Do we get to eat with them? Of course. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's, point. That's your only concern. Yeah. <laughs> well, then come me in. Oh, good, good. That was a great idea, Coach Jim. Thank you. <laughs> so brilliant, brilliant. Well, I for one can't wait to tell my students tomorrow. So, Mrs. Novato, what do you think? Well, it's if it's cool with everyone, it's cool with me. <laughs> did you just say cool? Yes, yeah, I did. did. Uh, I said uh, cool. Well, that's a start. Cool. Cool. <laughs> cool. <laughs> cool. <laughs> cool. <laughs>